Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to be doing the long division drill. Now, if you know how to do long division, then you may want to just go through this quite quickly. If you, um, if you don't know, then watch very carefully because I'm going to teach you the long division and I'm going to teach you how to do the X check for long division. You know how to do the X check for long multiplication and it's very similar but there's an additional thing that you have to do. Okay, so let's first of all do long division and I'm going to teach that quickly to you first. This is set up the same way that the long multiplication drill is and where you have it written out like this and you have to rewrite the numbers first and then do the calculations. So we start off with this first one and number one says 58 divided by 8. So what you do is you take that 58 and you divide it by 8. That's the way that you show it. Notice this looks like sort of like a bracket. It is, um, it is curved and then this is a straight line along the top. All right, so you're going to find out how many times 8 can go into 58. Well, that one's kind of easy because it's, um, it, it's just 8 times what is equal to 58 and close to it, okay? It's like short division. So 8 times 7 is 56, so that's the closest one. So you write a 56. 7 times 8 is 56. And then you subtract that to find out what the remainder is, and the remainder is 2. And that would be all you'd have to do for the first one. Okay, now let's go to the second one, and you'll see that it's it gets a little trickier, okay? So number two, it says 92 divided by three, so you have to write out quickly, whoops, 92 divided by three, so let's just erase that, 92 divided by three. So now you can do this, it's gonna take more steps, this question. How many times does three go into nine? Well, it goes three times. Three times three is nine. You subtract that and you get zero, then you bring down the next number that you haven't used. Notice all we did was work with that first number. All right, so you bring down that two and now you say, how many times does three go into two? Well, it goes zero times. You can't take any groups of three out of two. So zero times three is zero. And now you subtract again, just like you did before. Two minus zero is two. So that's the remainder two. You just leave it down there and everyone will know that. Now let's go back to this one again. Why didn't, this one took more steps. Why didn't I just do five divided by eight here? How many groups of five, or how many groups of eight can you take out of five? Well, you can't take any out. And you don't usually write a zero there, but that was basically what you would have to think in your head is zero times. You can't take a group of eight out of five. Okay, so that's why I went right to this bigger number. All right, let's do number three together. And we're gonna keep going for a little bit just to make sure you understand how to do this. So number three um, says 63 divided by four. So you take the 63, you divide that by four. Now, four into six. So how many groups of four can you take out of six? You could take one group, one times four is four. You subtract to find the remainder. Eight, uh, sorry, six minus four is two. Now you have to bring down this three. And now you can say how many groups of four can you take out of 23? Well, the closest would be five. And five times four is 20. And you subtract and you're left with remainder three. Let's do another one. Let's do number four. And number four, says 97 divided by five. So we're going to do 97 divided by five. And let's do this together now. And so when we do this, you have how many groups of five can you take out of nine? One, one times five is five. You subtract the remainder four and you bring down the seven. And now you have to keep going because you haven't quite finished. You have to go to the second digit here up above. So now how many groups of five can you take out of 47? Well, five times nine is 45. So that's the closest you're going to get. So we put nine here. So nine times five is 45. 
and then you subtract and you get two as a remainder. Now, when you're doing that, that's just the, the, um, the long division itself. That's what it looks like. After you do each question, you should also be doing your X check. I wanted to make sure you knew how to do that properly, but when you're doing your quiz, you should do one question, then do the X check. Do the next, next question, and then do the X check, and so on, okay? But I just wanted to make sure right now you knew how to do this. All right, so now let's figure out how, how do you do the X check? Well, if you look at the bottom of your, of your page, you will see an X check that sort of looks like this and it has an extra line underneath. So I'm going to do that for each of these with an extra line right now very quickly. So I'm not spending too much time making the X's. So this extra line is there to make it very clear that you're going to be doing an extra step, okay? So what happens here, and this is what's really neat, is if you took the eight and you times that by seven, you're doing the opposite because you said 58 divided by eight, and now, I, and you found out it was seven with the remainder two. So let's think about this. Eight times seven is 56 plus two is 58. Three times 30 is 90 plus that remainder two is 92. So four times 15 is 60 plus that remainder is 63. Okay, remainder of three. And that's a fast way, but when you get to this, five times 19, that's pretty hard to do. Okay, very quickly in your head. Maybe some of you can get there very quickly and see it's 95, but most people can't. 95 plus two is 97. So this is why we use the X check. We're using it with simple numbers right now, but as you get into more complicated numbers, this X check is really handy. So it's good for you to know. So this X check is just like you have the before, A times B plus the C. Well, it should give you this, the D. So I'm going to do this in a different color so that you can see this a little clearer, more clearly. Okay, so the A, the B, and here you've got um, A, or sorry, I'm gonna, whoops, and here you've got the C, and then here you have A times B plus C, and then you've got the D down here. Those are just so that you can remember a little bit, but I'm not going to, I'm actually going to make this a little bigger for you. <laughs> and then um, you shouldn't really try to memorize all the letters, but it helps a little bit. A, B, C, A times B plus C, and that's all over D. Okay, so let's try this now. If you have A, the digital root of 8 is 8, <laughs> times the digital root of B, which is 7, Okay, and then you, um, you have C, this is just C, which is two. It's, you, that's digital root is two, two. So let's try this. Eight times seven is 56, plus two is 58, and five plus eight is 13, and one plus three is four, because remember you're finding the digital roots for here. So now the digital root of this should be the same. Five plus eight, is 13, one plus three is four. So I'm writing the D here, four. These two should be the same down here. Notice you have an extra step. That's why that's there. This part comes to the bottom. This one's kind of obvious because you only had one number in each. Let's go and do another one that's not so obvious, okay? So in this case, you have three times 30. Well, the digital root of 30 is three. Plus, you've got the two at the bottom here. Three times three is nine, plus two is 11. One plus one is two, so there's the answer for that part. Now you have to take this. Nine plus two is 11, one plus one is two. Those digital roots are the same, it works. So we probably got two questions right. Okay, let's do the next one. Digital root of this times the digital root of this. One plus five is six, that's one digit. 
Now you have to put this three in. Then you take four times six, which is 24 plus three is 27. And, um, and now 27 is two digits, two plus seven is nine. So we're gonna put that there. Now let's try this. It should equal, this down here is up here. Six plus three is nine, and look at that. Okay, now let's do the last one together. And this one, you've got this digital root, five, times this digital root, nine and one is 10, so one and zero is one. And you've got this remainder goes to the top, it's the extra step. Five times one is five plus two is seven. And now you have to find the digital root of this. Nine and seven is 16 and one and six is seven. Look, they're the same. There you go. And then you, you would just continue depending on how many you got correct. So you have five minutes to do this to try and get all seven done. Most students find this really tough to get it done in five minutes, but some students can do it. So again, you have to make a guess on how many you think you got right, and that's why you do the X check too. So you make that guess, and then you find out how many you really got correct, and if your guess was correct, then you get an extra two marks, just like on the long multiplication. Okay, if you need to, go back and re Re-look at the video just in case you're not too sure about a couple of things. Okay, thanks and have fun with this.